Yo, 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 welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to have a look at how waterproof your phone really is. A look at IP ratings. So if you're new to the channel, my name's Travis and I love to film unboxing videos of cool new gear that I get for filmmaking and photography. If I learn a new editing trick in Adobe Premiere Elements, I'm definitely going to make a tutorial and put it on the channel here. When I get into DIY projects around the house, sometimes I film those too. And if I ever go someplace cool, I'm definitely going to vlog about it. So if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, head down below and smash that subscribe button. So in today's video, we're going to cover waterproofing your phone. So most new devices these days come with a IP rating and the IP rating is followed by a number and this just gets really confusing because if you want to get your phone to be certified as an IP67 or an IP68 sometimes you actually don't have to go through the previous tests. So an IP rating measures both dust and water. That's why you always see two numbers when you see a phone with an IP rating. The dust is measured from zero to six and the water is measured from zero to eight. So the highest rating a smartphone can get is an IP68. So this little chart on the side here is gonna go in a little bit more detail and show you exactly what they're measuring. The kicker here is that if you want to measure for IP68, you don't actually have to measure for the ones below. And where this comes into play is the water pressure test. If you look at the lower ratings, the lower ratings are actually with a pressurized water for three minutes. So your phone might be able to sink to the bottom of a pool, but it won't be able to handle a high spray pressure. What does all this mean? Well, let's be real. Your smartphone might be the key to your house, could be the key to your car, might have tons of your banking information on it. You might use it as your bank card. It's definitely not something that you're going to take into the pool, dunk it under the water to get those underwater shots. So if this is something that you want to do, you want to pick up a waterproof case. So these guys here make a great case. It's available on Amazon. I put a direct link in the description below if you guys want to get one. So let's just have a look at it. It's basically a bag for your phone, a waterproof bag. So this inside this bag, if I put my phone in it, I have no problem dunking it underwater. So let's open this up and have a look. So what you get is a waterproof bag to slide your phone into. So you can see here it has a triple Ziploc. So there is no chance any water is gonna get inside here. So you open this up take the instructions out, slide your phone in, make sure all three of these are sealed. So start with the first one, make sure it clicks. Okay, so that's fully sealed. Number two now. Okay, number three, three, three points. Okay, and if that wasn't enough, now you roll it. And you have these buttons here. You roll that right down tight and do up the buttons. There's no chance water's getting inside here. Ooh, tight. That's good though. So there you go. Your phone is now inside this case. You can pop it around the neck strap and you've got a waterproof phone. Now the key is, can you actually control the phone through the plastic to be able to use it to take pictures? So this is the great part is you can use your phone. You can actually scroll through, check out the weather, do whatever you want to do. What you probably want to take your phone into the water for is to take pictures. So very simply, you press your camera, you can still click on all your focus points, 
and you can take photos. So we'll just show you what that looks like through the plastic. And I'll place these up right here for you to see. So if you wanna make any phone completely 100% waterproof and still be able to control it, check out the Zetopo waterproof case available on Amazon, direct link in the description below. So if you learned something from today's video, make sure to head down below and smash that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit that like button. And until next time, take it easy out there.